everybody right here and it is day 78 of my carnivore diet journey and day one of doing that in the model of lion style lion diet lion style i'm not sure how to say it but um so today i woke up 278.2 um so right about where i was yesterday um and uh, and today was the first day that I was going to go lion. So um, if essentially what it means is I'm going to be basically eating beef um, for all my meals. Um, no pork, no chicken, no fish, no uh, no eggs. Um, and traditionally for the last 77 days, uh, beef, butter, bacon, eggs was pretty much what I ate. So. Uh, trying something a little bit different um, see if I can uh, keep my body on its toes a little bit and uh, and switch things up um, I've heard people that go to lion diet have good results um, and it's something I'm gonna do not for a not long term but uh, what I what I talked to the wife about yesterday was I'm gonna effectively I'm gonna do this for two weeks um, see how the two weeks goes and then potentially do it for another two weeks. Um, but, um, it's, it's kind of funny that when, when you start carnivore that I did two and a half months ago, um, I started carnivore and I wanted bread and I wanted rice and I wanted potatoes, right? I wanted tacos, pizza, right? I wanted all those things. And, you know, I stuck with it and I, I didn't give in to those cravings. Um, I mean, really and truly, other than kind of being cornered because I had only had a meat option at a restaurant where it was there was sugar in it, potentially. I don't even know most of the time. Um, other than that, one time I ate a banana because of the leg cramps. Um, but... Besides that banana, which was a conscious decision to solve a problem, I've never really cheated on it. Um, maybe eating a little bit more cheese than I probably should have. I felt that in the morning. Um, that stopped up my, my, my bowels a little bit. But uh, other than that, you know, I've been on what we call carnivore, right? And uh, I'm, I'm good now. I don't really crave, like... Yeah, I wish I could have some pizza. Every now and then, I really like pizza. Uh, I used to work at a pizza shop a long time ago. So, I miss pizza. But today, I ate my I ate a New York strip at lunch. I ate a New York strip at dinner. And I was like, you know what? I really want some cheese. So, no matter what it is, um, and when we take it away, we'll crave it. Right? So, so I, I guess I... Theoretically, at some level, I knew this all along, but uh, now I've experienced it, which is a little different. So, um, so yeah, tonight I was just craving cheese. And, you know, we got back from tennis and the wife wanted a little snack. So she's like, hey, I'm going to cut a little slice of uh, pepper jack cheese. Do you want some? All right. Now, we all know pepper jack cheese has little bits of pepper in it. So... My immediate thought was, well, no, because there's pepper in it. But then I thought about it. No, it's no, because I'm not eating cheese right now. I'm just eating red meat. So, um, but I wanted cheese today for some reason, even during the day. So we'll, uh, we'll see how the two weeks goes. Um, we'll see if I get good results out of it. I don't know. Um, with my current weight loss pattern, Right, of 50, we'll just call it 54 pounds in 77 days. Um, there's a pretty good chance I could be real close to my goal of 260. Um, or I could at least be potentially in the 260s at the end of the next two weeks. Which, if that happens, I mean, that'll be amazing. Um, but that means I underestimated with my goal setting. So my next goal would have to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, but 
I'm actually kind of really looking forward to that possibility because if if I'm at 260 uh, in the month of May, which at this rate is completely feasible, that means that there's a possibility that I could actually get the 250 before my trip in June. And if I can be at 250 before my trip in June, that would just be absolutely amazing. I, I mean, I'm, I just, I just ran those numbers in my head right now. And that, that would just be, that would just be great. So here's praying. Here's keeping to the plan and, and trying to make that happen. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so uh, today, other than my allergies, which have really kicked my butt today, um, and I changed up medications today, so I was, I'm tired now because it's, you know, it's a little after 10 o'clock. It's time we got 10, 10. It's 10, 10, so I'm tired. It's up at 5. Um, worked my whole day, which I planned on not working the whole day because my medication was making me so drowsy. Uh, I actually set my head down on my desk at one point and just closed my eyes for a minute. And then all of a sudden I realized it was like 10 minutes had passed. Um, so the medication, it does a number on you. And that's the, so my allergies were so bad before that I would take a quadruple dose of Zyrtec um, in order to combat all the symptoms. And Claritin and all the other ones, they didn't really do anything for me. So this time I've got a double dose of Zyrtec instead of a quadruple. Um, I've got Flonase and then I've got some um, Aloe eye drops. So um, trying to take less of each one of those than I normally would by themselves. So I don't completely overload myself on antihistamines, but yeah, it was a it was a rough day as far as my energy level. And uh, yeah, I finished my work for the day, and I took an hour nap, and it was like I was in a deep, deep sleep. And when I came home, and it scared me when like when I heard the noise, I, I didn't know where I was. And then I actually drifted off for another I don't know 15 minutes or so before we went to our tennis lesson. I did go to my tennis lesson. My performance was not as good, but. Um, I want to do that. That's that's the one pretty much guaranteed exercise I get every week. So, but but yeah, that's it's kind of where where it's at at this point, right? Doing my doing my diet, moving to Lion, fighting an allergy season, and uh, trying to set myself up for a really good trip to Mexico. Um, I've been trying to think when I get to Mexico, how much, how strict am I going to be on my diet? Um, because they've got some really good food at the resort. Um, I would say most of it I'll pass on. There's some things that I would, I do want to try. And, um, it's an all-inclusive, so alcohol is free. But, uh, effectively free. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not going to drink like I did before when I would go there. Not going to eat like I did before when I would go there. Um, I mean, we took advantage of the fact that it was all you could eat, all you could drink. Um, that's that's not that's not going to be me anymore. I don't think I could do that unless I'm eating all meat. Um, and who knows? But but that's kind of where where things are at. Um, getting kind of rambly now, so I'm going to kind of close her out. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, got some new subscribers again, um, got some comments about how this is all misinformation and everything else, but the reality is my anecdotal evidence proves that this works. Um, my blood pressure's down, my sugar's down, um, uh, weight's down, energy level's up, all my mind, clearness, vision, better, everything tells me it works. It's not misinformation. 
and my anecdotal evidence combined with all the other people who have this anecdotal evidence could be combined into what's called a study um, that just shows, just shows that this works. It's not just a bunch of crazy lunatics out here saying the vegetables are trying to kill us. Um, and, I, I, and I've never said that. I, I do understand that whole aspect. But, uh, but yeah, the vegetables trying to kill us thing is, is I understand it. I, I don't, I think we're, I think we're in general fine to eat some vegetables, but not like is pushed on us. So I'm going to stick with my carnivore. Um, the naysayers can be naysayers, but uh, my evidence and my results prove to me that this is working right. So, um, that's what I got. I'll quit my ramble and, uh, I will talk to you tomorrow.